Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name's Tiana, and if you're returning, it is so nice to see you again. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you the update on my two polishes that I've been working on in the month of August. One was a usage goal, and one was to actually finish. And, little spoiler, I am actually gonna be rolling one out and rolling a new one in. So let's just get right into this. The first one I wanna talk about is actually Coral Reef. Now I do have a usage goal on this. My usage goal is 10 uses, and in the month of August, I did end up using it only once. But that is okay, that means I didn't hit my goal, and I'm gonna continue working on this in the month of September. I'm currently filming this in September. I already have one use on it already, so I feel like this will probably be in here for Maybe another month or two, I guess we will see, but it is really fun to work with. I really love this shade. Every single time I roll this in, I'm really excited because I feel like I don't use it enough. It's one of those colors that I absolutely love to have in my collection, but I always feel like I need a reason to use it, where this project has just been giving me that reason to use it, so I've been enjoying it so, so much. So this shade is gonna be staying in here because I did not hit my goal on it. But that is okay uh, because we're just gonna use it for the month of September. I feel like it's an okay shade for the month of September. I'm very excited for this. I love this color and I know a lot of you always comment saying that you love the color Coral Reef as well. So I'm sure if you follow this project you're already starting to get it or if you've watched my empty slash speed reviews you may know. But the other nail polish I was working on was this blue from Orly. Now I wish I knew the shade name, I don't. I believe it's like Royal Blue or something like that. I've had this in my collection for almost six years now and one of you were very kind to mention that I could get nail polish thinner to try and make this formula work a little bit better for me. The only thing is I really don't have that much left anymore. It is way, way under the confetti line. I really don't have much left. I will put it upside down and nothing will come out. And whatever does come out, it is so, so thick and textured and clumpy and gloopy. And I just don't enjoy using it and it doesn't look as good as it used to. So online, I did end up reading that you could actually take like a drop of nail polish remover and put it into the nail polish and it would help thin it out a little bit. So what I ended up doing was actually just using a little bit of nail polish remover like around the bottle here to clean it up. And I also used a little bit on the brush and then whatever got in there kind of naturally from cleaning it got in there. And it did allow me to get two more uses out of it, but I just don't feel the need to go out and actually buy like a specific nail polish thinner for this one because it is super old. It's not a color that I'm like, crazy about like I like it don't get me wrong I would for sure like to have another blue in my collection but it's not a color that I'm like oh my goodness I need to have and it's just about done and it is so thick and I feel like I'm done with this I feel like I used it quite a lot in this project I did have this in the project many times this year and I feel like I got my use out of it and I am going to be calling it done and I'm only going to be using this to mark other nail polish bottles and that means I finished two nail polishes in 2021, which is kind of crazy. So because we are rolling this one out, that means I only have Coral Reef left in here. And that means we are going to be rolling in a new polish. Now I only have four polishes left. And my color story is not like very wide. There's not a lot of selection anymore. My nails are going to be basically red, pink, or purple. <laughs> like there's really not that much of a color choice, but that's okay because I feel like the colors that I have in my collection, they're gonna go with the seasons. I have five in my collection, but I am working on Coral Reef. I do have this like grayish purple color here from Essence. This is in the shade. Does it not have a shade name? Yes, it does. Uh, 22, I believe. And then I have my famous mauve over that I've been working on so much in the project. I also have a red carpet from Sally Hansen. It's just like a nice red sparkly color. And then I have the Lasting Finish Pro from Rimmel. So, I mean, I have two like reds. One is like matte and one is sparkly. I have the mauve over and then I just have this like purpley like gray color. I mean, I don't have like too much of an option, but I feel like they'll work for any season. I have four polishes to choose from, so I'm gonna open up my Pretty Random app and we're gonna generate a shade. So let's do this. So let's put in four polishes. Okay, number two. I'm excited to see what this one is. So number two is the 
579 red carpet. Now I actually haven't used this at all this year. So what I want to do is actually set a usage goal for this one just to see how the formula is, how I like it. You know, I just haven't used this in a long time actually. I think I don't even think I pulled it out last year. It's been a long time since I used this one. So I am going to set a usage goal for this red one. And I think this is going to be absolutely perfect to head into the fall. I also feel like these will be really nice. I could also do like accent nails. So I have a feeling these are going to work very, very well together. So let's generate a usage goal. I like to do one through 12 just because if I only use it once a month then I'm at least using it once a month for the year. I hope that makes sense. So I'm just gonna do one through 12, 12 times, all right. We are gonna have these polishes in here for quite a long time, but that is okay because the colors are fine. So the usage goal for this one is 10, but because I did use it once in August, it is now nine times. And then this one here is going to be a usage goal of 12 times. I have a feeling that these are gonna both be in here for September and October, depending on how September goes, maybe I'll roll in a new one for October. I guess we will see. I don't really want to work on three polishes at once, but I guess we'll see when it comes. I know I'm going to be painting my toes tonight, so at least I can start working on one of these and you know, go from there. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This project is actually a ton of fun. This project has allowed me to rotate through my nail polishes, finish some up. It's allowed me to notice the type of polishes that I really like and enjoy. So I would really encourage you guys, if you're not doing like a pan those polishes or if you're not working on a polish, I would highly recommend that you take maybe one polish out every single month and try and at least use it once. Then at least this way you're working through your like nail polish too. And if you have a habit of always wanting to pick up like a new nail polish because you're tired of the ones that you have, Using your nail polishes, you're going to start to see that you don't really need like a ton of polishes because they actually last a really, really long time. So anyway, I'm not going to ramble anymore. These are the two that we're going to be working on. Let me know in the comments down below, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the Sally Hansen red carpet or do you prefer the coral reef honestly i kind of love them both and i'm kind of excited to use them both so i will see you all in my update video in october bye